Hollywood actors and actresses are indeed living a glamorous life, much to the envy of everyone around them. The fame, money, opportunities, deals, ambassadorships are a few of many benefits Nollywood actors and actresses seem to enjoy. But we've all forgotten that there is always a price to pay for such fame. The downside of this lifestyle is what most of us are quick to forget, as most of these actors, because of their wealth, they are open and prone to face a lot of dangers from jealous and prying eyes. Some of who have been abducted, beaten, kidnapped, robbed and sadly even killed. So I have compiled a list of 6 most popular Nollywood actors whom I'm sure you didn't know have been kidnapped. Keep watching to find out all that happened and why. Number one on this list of famous Nollywood actors that have been kidnapped is none other than Daddy Pete Edoche. Surprised? I'm sure you are. Now this is how it happened. Veterinary Nollywood actor Pete Edoche was kidnapped on a Sunday in 2009 when he was returning from Asaba in Delta State and was passing through a Fort Mpo along the old Enugu stroke on Icha Road when the kidnappers intercepted his SUV and whisked him away. It was also reported that three people were allegedly shot during the scuffle to kidnap him before the kidnappers were able to take him away. Pete Doche was held in captivity for over 24 hours before his release was secured. Until this day, the details are still sketchy as to if any ransom was paid or not. However, Pete Edoche alleged that no ransom whatsoever was collected. Immediately after his release, Pete Edoche put out a statement saying that his ordeal in the hands of these kidnappers wasn't a good one at all. However, he maintained that the kidnappers did not maltreat him in any shape or form. That in fact, his hands or eyes weren't tied like they usually do to other captors. Instead, the kidnappers held him in high regard and were even engaging in conversations with him, cracking jokes in their native language Igbo. Wow. Not only that, Pete Doche also reported that he was even given a beer to drink and in all, the kidnappers kept on seeing him as a father figure. Pete Doche also added that in his conversations with the kidnappers, they told him that the politicians in the country were ripping the country off and that their ostentatious display of ill-gotten wealth was annoying them a lot. And so they decided that they too were entitled to some portions of this national cake. He said further, These young men who took me captive a couple of hours told me that the government doesn't take their plight into consideration. That the only way people seem to make money in this country is by getting involved into politics and that once you get into politics you don't give a damn about any other person and that politicians spend all the money buy all the cars go overseas anytime they like and then they decide that it is high time that they stop this they also said that they were not interested in killing anyone and they just wanted their voice to be heard and believed that Peter Doche is a very influential person in the country and that if he speaks the government will listen. So according to Pete Doche, that was the reason for his kidnap. And after that, all their chit chats and conversation, Pete Doche was released by the kidnappers late at night. He was dropped off at, at, at an undisclosed location where he then took a cab back home. He also added that the kidnappers did not take anything from him, that his phone, his wallet, his bags, etc. were all intact. Pete Ejoche really had an experience because sadly, not everyone who has gotten involved with kidnappers has such a story to tell. But in all, we are just happy and grateful that Pete got back safe and unharmed. Next up on the list of kidnapped actors you didn't know is our very own Nkemo War, otherwise popularly known as Osofia. 
Nke Momo was reportedly kidnapped along the Enugu Portacourt Highway while traveling to Portacourt on an assignment in 2009. Just a few months after his colleague Pete Doche suffered the same fate. Hmm. Nkemowo's kidnappers requested a whooping 15 million naira to secure his release. It was also reported that a call was placed to his then personal assistant to inform him about his kidnap. After various attempts from Nkemowo's friends and family to negotiate the ransom, the kidnappers finally agreed to release him on a 1.5 million naira ransom instead of the 15 million naira they requested initially. And out of that 1.5, his family was only able to raise 1.4 million naira and then he was released. The kidnapper still went ahead to request an additional 100,000 naira for his car to be released from their custody. Speaking on the matter during an interview, Nkemowo reported that he wasn't treated badly by the kidnappers and also his car had been returned. He also stated that he had no regrets. Wow. We are indeed grateful for the lives of our Nollywood actors. Next up on the list, and the most high profile, I believe, of all, is none other than actress in Kiru Silvanus. Popular Nollywood actress in Kiru Silvanus, who garnered fame for her roles in Always Crying in Movies, and who was also the then special assistant to the Imo State Governor on Public Affairs, was kidnapped in Oweri, the Imo State capital, Southeast Nigeria in December 2012 while shooting a movie. Her kidnappers also requested that a sum of 100 million naira was to be paid for her to be released and even threatened her family to molest and deal with her if their demands were not met immediately. It was then at the point of exchange of the ransom that a trap was set for the kidnappers by the security operatives to which Nkiru was able to get rescued while the men fled the scene. It was until later on that some suspects were paraded round and then arrested. Next up on the list of kidnapped Nollywood actors is our very own John Okafor, popularly known as Mr. Ibu, the comedic actor. In Mr. Ibu's case, he was kidnapped two good times. Not only that, his wife and kids were also not spared from the hands of kidnappers as they were also kidnapped in 2011 after demanding a huge sum of 50 million naira ransom. Not only that, Mr. Ibu's house in Festac was also robbed and the culprits carted away with over 14 million naira in cash and a whole lot of his valuable property. Also, if we recall sometime last year, Mr. Ibu was said to have been poisoned several times where photos were released of his tummy growing to almost two times its size. Wow, only one man. Life has indeed not been easy for Mr. Ibu to imagine that someone so funny and full of life who brings us joy on television will be going through such hell in real life. Our prayers will continue to be with Mr. Ibu and since then he has always maintained a real profile and decided to be modest so as to keep away evil eyes from looking at him. May he continue to be protected from the eyes of the evil ones that do not want to see his success. Fifth on the list is Nollywood actor, musician, and politician Banky Wellington, otherwise known as Banky W, who is also the husband of popular actress Adeswa Etomi. Banky W was abducted on New Year's Day in 2009 by a group of criminals who drove with him from one point to the other as they conducted their operations. Banky W talked about being robbed bullied and beaten as he went through a lot in the hands of these kidnappers. He narrated that he had gone to church for the popular crossover service and as he was about leaving, he got accosted by armed robbers at about past 1 am on New Year's Day and that it was the worst 45 minutes of his life. He added that they drove around and demanded that he withdrew all the money from his account and give them. And after passing through that ordeal, he was broke depressed, frustrated and tired. He still tells his story today and still gives thanks to God that after all, he was still able to bounce back on his feet and uses his experience to encourage others never to be downcast when life doesn't go well for you. And last but not the least of kidnapped Nollywood actors is Nollywood actor Prince AK 
who is also the husband to Nollywood actress Muma Jean. Actor Prince Ake was returning from a movie location in Asaba on December the 5th, 2015, where he was kidnapped on the Oweri Potakot Road and his adopters had reportedly demanded a ransom of 15 million naira or the actor will be buried alive. Wow. Narrating this audio, he said, I was returning from Asaba, where I went for a movie shoot and I was ambushed. Three guys just jumped out of the bush in AK-47 in their hands. They began to shoot sporadically and I tried to reverse, but I saw two men with guns behind my car. From there, they took me into a forest at gunpoint. I never got out of that forest until the day I was released. According to the actor, he also said that he had tried to escape during his captivity but was caught and was even shot at twice but thankfully wasn't harmed. He also said he was treated very poorly and doesn't pray for his enemy to go through such. He was eventually released but details of his release are still sketchy to date and no one knows if any ransom was paid by his family or not or as to what grounds why he was released. But eventually he was released and that is all that matters right now because a lot of people are not lucky enough to escape such an experience. He was reunited with his friends and family and loved ones later on. So there you have it guys. That's our list of 6 Nollywood actors that have been kidnapped and luckily made it out alive. Did we miss anyone? Do you still know others that have been kidnapped and did not make the list? Please comment your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I share more juicy news like this, like and share with your friends and family, and until next time guys, keep watching Chi TV. Bye!